Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I'm having a pretty good day in our neighborhood here in sunny Arizona. So, my base today is Sherwin-Williams Color To Go, Trey Naturel. Oh, that's a cool name. Yes, it is. It's kind of like my hair, Naturel. Oh yeah, your hair's real Naturel. I have natural hair. This is the color of that. It's... Correct. Yeah, it's like my hair. See? Natural. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so my primary colors that I have today are Chrysocolla by Prism Pour, Laguna Azul by Primary Elements, Butter Toffee, Primary Elements, Bells of Ireland, Primary Elements. My secondary colors after my primary color swipe is going to be Ceylon, uh, Ceylon <laughs> cinnamon, Venetian red, Egyptian coin, walk like an Egyptian, and blissful Bordeaux. That is going to be the secondary swipe colors. My first swipe colors are the first four. My second swipe colors are the second four. Okay, so, so you got some kind of like contrasting colors that you're going to be using. Oh yes, we are, Phil. Today is a contrasting day on my Trey Naturel. <laughs> I took French 50 years ago in high school. I probably remember three words, but I think Trey means very and Naturel means... Hey, Nature or natural, I hey, guess. Hey, when so. we went to France, you were pretty good getting us around, you know, with your your language. I, I didn't. The only, the only thing I would have to learn if I went there would be uh, where are the restaurants and where are the bathrooms. <laughs> because that's the most important thing. <laughs> oh, I usually think, where am I? <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, you could at least, you know, okay. communicate a little. Well, let's get back to the important stuff here. This is a... This was the primary swipe layer that Kathy did, which was, again, those four pigments. And what we mean by primary and secondary swipes, she's now going to swipe the first four colors, being the primary swipe colors. And I am using my Black Magic, which is Floetrol and Black Oxide by Amsterdam Paint. So, let's see what happens here. Colors are pretty. Yes. All these pigments that Kathy is using today have the same recipe. That's in video 478. And that's a neat recipe video because it talks about her base and how she does coloration of different bases. Her pouring medium for paints and pigments and the cell activator recipe. So it's a wonderful video. The link is in the description box. Okay. You got some nice cells on that first swipe. Ooh, these greens oh, yeah. are pretty. Yeah, they are. Okay, now I'm going to use a little card. Okay. Of course, Kathy uses simply old playing, playing cards, and she cuts them into different sizes depending on how wide of a swipe she wants to do. Oh, these colors are really striking. <clears throat> Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. She'd love to have you join it. It's a great place to post your creations, ask questions, make comments, and just have fun with the group. The group is growing very nicely, and it's a safe place for beginning paint pourers to get some ideas, ask for su suggestions, and get comments on their creations. And we keep it a safe place for everybody. Yeah, we have it on lockdown at night because we <laughs> have our ADT on. 
Oh, in case anybody wants to break in, we keep it a safe place. Okay, now I'm gonna do my secondary colors. I think I have enough done in my primary colors. Yes, you can always can always do go back some, and uh, swipe more. Okay. So, so let me just I'm show you this way. These were the primary colors. And now you picked that one up. I was gonna show the secondary colors, but that's okay. This is the cinnamon. All right. They'll see them on here. I know, but I wanted to see them as a group. Well, you can do it after so, I'm done. So a whole another layer of these secondary colors is being this is Venetian red. Is being put down and then will be swiped. And that gives you a very different look to the painting. Egyptian coin. Than if you had just put them all on top of each other. And blissful Bordeaux. If you drink enough Bordeaux wine, you will be feeling blissful. I'm feeling blissful right now without <laughs> even drinking wine because I could just lick this. Oh, brother. Damn, it, look at that. It's so tasteful and yummo looking. <sighs> baby. Baby, 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 Phil. Gotta just put a little paint here. There. Okay. Now we're gonna do our swiping again. Don't forget to check out the description box. There's lots of great information out there. There's discount links to a lot of the products that Kathy is affiliated with. There's information on what paints and pigments she uses. There's links to Kathy's Amazon shop, her Redbubble shop, and her Etsy shop. So check those out. It's fun to click around and see what's available. Okay, so you, as you can see, the difference between the primary colors that she used and the secondary swipe colors. And we're hoping that it gives a good complementary mix to the painting. That's what we're striving for. These colors look beautiful. I think. I do too. We're getting some nice different colored cells based on the painting, on the paint you, or the pigments you put down actually. Ooh, this is so fun. Fun, fun, fun. I know you don't want to hear my singing, but it just kind of comes out, you know what I mean? It kind of comes out from nowhere. You like to sing and you like to dance. And I like to whistle. Yeah, well, that's true. You do. I love whistling. I whistle quite a bit. I don't even realize I'm whistling. No, oh, that's, yeah, that's true. Usually when I'm cooking, then I'm whistling. And sometimes I don't even know where these songs come from because, I mean, they're, they're really old. It's like Phil will say, where did that come from? I have no idea. None whatsoever. Ooh. Kathy has some neat compilations of videos that you can go to with a link in the description box. One is a link to her most popular videos, and the other is a link to tips and techniques for different types of pores. So both those compilation videos, I believe, have about five videos all in one, and it's a great place to kind of see a lot of information all in one video. This is cool. This is a very cool. Very cool. It is neat. I would have liked to have seen a little more color farther out from the center, but 
when you do some wrecking and spinning that may help that situation. That's just my opinion, of course. I can add here no, some I here wouldn't do if you'd that. like. No. no. I think we're going to lose some of that anyways yeah, from we the will. spinning. So we will, Phil. I'm being a little creative here, doing something a little bit different. You probably haven't noticed with your jibber jabbering. You're not paying attention. <laughs> hey, I could do more than one thing at a time. Oh no, you can't. <laughs> oh, let's not even go there. No. Mm -mm. No. No. Are you saying when I'm talking, yeah. my brain is in yeah. neutral? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to disagree. No, I know. Because it's, it's neutralized. Okay. It's all I'm doing for that. At the moment. Saving the rest of her cell activator for... My next day. project. Which will be after this one. Well, so, I don't know if it's today, but it's going to be after this this creation. Okay. Remember now. The, uh, the greens and sort of the turquoises and stuff were from the primary swipe. And then uh, the reds and the purples and the gold was from the secondary swipe. Kathy's doing some wrecking, which is one of her favorite parts. That it is. Oh, I'm gonna do this though. As you can see, the wrecking does create some nice frilly lines that'll break up some of the larger areas, tie some of the areas together, and give some interest to the painting. As you can see, Kathy's stick has a pointed end and a flat end. The flat end will give you larger wrecking lines through the painting. And then the smaller end will give you more accent, thinner wrecking lines, depending on what you want to do. And, uh, this stick that Kathy is using for wrecking is in her Amazon shop, along with about a hundred other products that she uses. There's a link to Kathy's Amazon shop in the description box, so uh, check that out. You can get all the supplies you need for paint pouring. Including the spinner Kathy uses, the puppy pool she uses, the sticks that she has attached to the spinner, and the puppy pads that line the spinner. Okay. Okay, let's take an overall picture of this here. We got the wrecking okay. lines. You ready? Okay, Phil. I'm you ready. ready? Oh, is this gonna be pretty? Holy crap! Woo, baby! I'm getting excited on this one, Phil. Really yeah, I like the colors on you this put one. On, that's for sure. Oh, oh my goodness. This is like paradise, people. Yeah, look at it's that. like paradise. This is so, so pretty. Yeah, the colors are so oh, my rich goodness. and deep on this one. Vibrant. Yeah, very vibrant. You've got lots of wonderful different colored cell. That's a cool area right there. 
There's some more of the greenish cells. Here now we're getting into the cells that were made from the secondary colors that were put down, which was the uh, Venetian red and some kind of a purple. It's blissful Bordeaux. <laughs> oh, yeah, blissful Bordeaux. This is stunning. Names. Holy hmm. cow, this is so pretty. Good overall view. Oh, Kathy's popping some bubbles. This is so pretty. I'm loving this. This is very, very pretty. You like it, Phil? I like it because this primary and secondary layering and swiping of the colors just gives a completely different look to the finished painting. It really does. It's so, so pretty. <gasps> This is so vibrant, people. Oh my goodness. Now you don't get as much mixing of the colors. You, you get a, a lot more uh, colors that are, are grouped together, which is kind of nice. Now mixing is fine. You've done that many times where uh, the colors are all over mm -hmm. the painting. But this is just another look, which I like. This is gorgeous. This uh, The shimmer in this is really unbelievable. Maybe if you can get up close. I don't know if you can see it. But it, it is beautiful. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can start seeing. Yeah. Oh. There's the shimmer in the green there. Throughout the green. It's all over. Yeah. Look at the gold. Yeah, there's the gold. I mean, it's so. Shimmer through there. Yeah, I mean, it's so pretty. Don't go so fast. You're going to get dizzy. I mean, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, people, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, um, share it, push the like button, you know what I mean? Um, join our channel, we'd love to have you uh, in our family. Go to our Facebook page and uh, sign up there as well in our group, Paint Pointing by Kathleen Miller. Um, I, I love this, it's absolutely stunning. And when it's finished, it, it's gonna be so pretty. I was showing Phil, because I have nine that I'm finishing right now. and. With the varnish. With the varnish, and it, it is, they're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. And this will have three coats of varnish on, just like the other ones. And um, when it's finished, I will show everybody. So until then, everybody, stay healthy, stay safe. Remember, it's only paint. And um, have a wonderful and beautiful day. See you later, alligators. Bye. Take one last look. Start from here where we can see the whole thing. Hey everybody, I'm back because on this creation, I felt there was something missing so I wanted to come back and show you what I did, kind of explain to what I did. I took some of my Egyptian coin here, put it on my stick, and all I did was make, here, I'm gonna show them. Well, put it on a card or something. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Put it back to the card. Okay, took this, made like a round circle. Then what I did was, I took my stick here, my wrecking stick, and I just came it down the middle, which makes a heart. Yes, and then here's what they look like. Uh, and, yeah, and then I just, I did a set of four, a set of three, and a set of five, just to add a little bit more into this creation. I, I felt it was lacking something. So instead of scraping it, because I anticipated scraping it, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to add some, a little bit of, a little bit of bling into it and see what happens. Like I tell everybody, you know what? It's only paint. So if you feel like something's missing, just kind of take a look at it and go back and forth, back and forth and say, oh, maybe I can do this. Maybe it'll look nice. If it doesn't, you can scrape it. I love this. I, I absolutely love it. I think it really adds something to this creation. And it kind of breaks up the real darkness of that um, yes. blissful Bordeaux. So that's why I wanted to show everybody because I didn't want you to see this creation without me explaining what I did. Because I know people will come back and say, how did you do that? 
So that's how I did it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I love it now. So I'll see you all later. Bye. Take one last look at how you enhanced it. It makes a world of difference, really.